It has been a while, but we are finally doing a new update on the Grammatigasa Scutellaris colony. You want to watch this video until the end for two reasons. Growth and setup. That's all I'm gonna say for now. Alright, let me take you back to the first time I laid my eyes on this beautiful queen. You could tell she was hot because all of the water that had condensed around her. Nevertheless, this queen laid eggs and the first workers arrived. Took a long time before the colony had some workers. The growth was slow at the start, but the brood pile was always huge. I really like the colony. They perform amazing behavior. They look gorgeous and are very active. Last update we left off with the ants in the test tube. They again had a very nice brood pile and always hyped for their growth. After that video I moved the ants into a medium outworld. Reason being it was hard to feed the ants in the mini outworld. So I moved them into the medium outworld so I could better feed them. Moving them was very easy. Disconnect the test tube from the mini outworld and place them inside the medium outworld. This is the easiest method of raising ants, the tubs and tubes setup. The ants felt right at home. Here you can see the colony a few weeks later. The colony grew a lot and some progress was made. You can see some workers have yellow hats. These workers are freshly born and the rat is evolves over time. A few weeks later, much more activity. The colony size doubled. One test tube dried out, so I added another one to it. You can see the queen between the two test tubes. They use this more narrow tunnel as extra nesting space. Eventually, the ants dug behind the cotton and they started to occupy that space as well. I gave the ants some fruit flies and that was the last time I recorded them. This shot was recorded on the 20th of December, so around 45 days ago. In the meantime, I put the ants in the corner. Did not look at them a whole lot and sadly also did not care for them as I should have. As you might know, the shop became a top priority because so many exotics were arriving at the store that needed care as well. But despite that, the colony now looks like this. Wait a second, how did they get in that nest? What is that nest anyway? Relax, let me bring you up to speed. As you might have seen in my Tampano Managerium video, I'm developing new acrylic nests. This nest here is the small acrylic nest. Yes, it's tiny, but it's also meant for small species. I made a revolutionary design yet again, and so far it works awesome. I really love it, and I'm hoping to launch a pre-order range soon, so you guys can test it as well. Keep an eye on the store. Connecting the nest went perfectly. As you can see, the connector is not perfect, but it works. This is a small prototype, so small modifications still need to be made. The ants were pretty agitated from me connecting the nest and all rushed out to see what was happening. To me, a new ant keeper, it is pretty crazy to see this much activity in the outworld. I'm also so happy I applied Fluon on the lid. Otherwise, I would be in real trouble with these ants. They get the name escape artists, but I rarely have had escapees. Could I have the perfect setup? Probably not, I've just been lucky. It did not take long before the ants moved into the new acrylic nest. When a species needs to be heated, I always take the old nest off the heat and put the new nest on the heat. This works 9 out of 10 times when moving colonies. The outworld the ants live in was extremely dirty, so I tried to clean it out as best as I could. Sadly, the feeder leaked and all the sugar water got stuck on the bottom, leaving this sticky mess. It was not really possible to clean, so we need to find another solution for that in the future. This is what the ants look like a day after being inside the nest. Chromatogaster scutellaris is my top 5 favorite ant species. They are active, fun to look at, grow very fast and perform very interesting behavior. This year the colony will blow up in the thousands and they will be a great species to test my new acrylic range. Hopefully by the end of this summer they reach the largest size I have. Shall we set a goal? Let me know in the comments if you have Chromatogaster scutellaris as well. Do you like the species and what is your funniest story with them? Let me know in the comments, I read them all and love doing it. 
I want to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to stay updated about the progress of this colony. I see you in the next video. Bye.